Let's focus on LIFO and FIFO. LIFO is permissible, as I said, under US GAAP. LIFO is not permissible under IFRS, but FIFO is permissible under both. Let's talk about last in, first out. What is last in, first out, LIFO? Last in, first out is just like its name applies. The last unit that was purchased is the first one sold. So the last units that were purchased are the first ones sold. What does first in, first out mean? FIFO. The older units, the first units purchased are sold first. Okay. Now, here's something that confuses sometimes candidates. If a company operates technically in their business under the FIFO methodology, do they have to apply FIFO for their financial statements? <clears throat> the answer is no. These LIFO, FIFO, weighted average, specific identification price, these are what we call generally accepted accounting principles under US GAAP. So under US GAAP, you can select any methodology you want, it's acceptable, even if it does not reflect the way goods actually flow through the organization. For example, take a supermarket, okay? How does a supermarket actually operate? Well, they deal with perishables. Think about the milk that you see in the, in the supermarket. Many times now when I go to the milk store, you know what I see? I see that they try to put the milk that's about to expire in the front, and what do they put all the way in the back? All the milk that is got a later expiration date. So what do, what do, what do, what do I do now that I've been trained by my wife when we had babies? I go into the uh, milk, I go into the supermarket at night, and it's a mess. Why is it a mess? Because all the milks are being pushed away from the front and everybody's reaching over to get that expiration date with the later expiration date because it'll last longer in the refrigerator. And then you, you know, and I would stick my hand in there, behind there, and I'd go all the way to the back. I'd be like, how you doing over there? And, he, and I'd pull out the, uh, the, the old the, uh, milk with the latest expiration date because I, I would have the, um, the longest time for that milk in the refrigerator. Okay, and if I didn't, then I would get actually shot and yelled at and I'd have to go back and get the right milk. No, I'm just kidding. You get what I'm saying? It's just a, uh, everybody wants to have more time to be able to consume the product. So really, what is the grocery store doing? Guys, come on, lighten up. This is, you know, this is dense stuff. You gotta have a little bit of humor here once in a while. I mean, Dennis is cackling here already. No, okay. Anyway, so here's the point. The point that you need to get out of this is that a supermarket technically operates under a FIFO methodology. First units purchased, they wanna get rid of first because they are perishables. Now, do they have to use FIFO for their, when they do their financial statements? No, they do not. They could use LIFO, weighted average, specific identification price if they could use it, or FIFO, any one they want. Under US GAAP, under IFRS, they can only use FIFO, weighted average, or specific identification price. So that's what we call the inventory cost law assumption. In order to calculate the cost of goods sold that will show up on the income statement and the ending inventory that will be shown on the balance sheet. But they are not, it's not a valuation methodology. Now LIFO says, okay, the last units or the most recently purchased items will be sold first. So what is the difference between LIFO and FIFO, especially under US GAAP, in terms of their impact on the cost of goods sold that's reported on the income statement and the ending inventory that's reported on the balance sheet, okay? Well, we need to know, are we dealing with an inflationary environment or are we dealing with a deflationary environment? Usually on the exam, they test things from an inflationary environment standpoint, okay? The prices are continuously rising. Now, if prices are stable and they are not moving up or down, all the, all the, all the methodologies will lead to the same conclusion, but we, that's not usually the case. Prices are usually rising. Once in a while, on the level one exam, they will say, oh, assume a deflationary environment. Then it will be the opposite of the inflationary environment. So let's focus on the inflationary environment because that's generally the way we have it in the real world. Prices are rising from one period to the next and the way that most of the time they're gonna ask the questions on the level one exam. So focusing on a inflationary environment, which means that prices are either stable and or rising from one period to the next. Let's see the impact on the balance sheet and the income statement using LIFO. LIFO, last in, first out, says what? My most recently purchased items with my higher prices because prices are rising will be sold first. So because they're being sold first, those most recently purchased items with the higher prices are gonna hit the income statement as cost of goods sold. So my higher priced items. If I'm using my higher priced items, my cost of goods sold will be 
higher than if I were to use FIFO, and we haven't gotten the FIFO yet, but they will be higher. My cost of goods sold on my income statement will be higher. And if my cost of goods sold is higher, then my gross profit will be lower. If my gross profit is lower, my taxable income will be lower. If my taxable income is lower, then the income taxes that I pay to the government is lower, and my net income is lower. So basically what LIFO does on the income statement is LIFO creates a situation where I have a higher cost of goods sold, less profits, less taxable income, less taxes, and less net profits. And this is actually very good. Why? Because why it's very appropriate because the cost of goods sold that I am recording on the income statement under LIFO is reflecting the real costs, the actual costs, meaning that they reflect the, the replacement cost of those of that inventory. Okay, so they reflect, in other words, current costs. That's the key point. That LIFO leads to a cost of goods sold that reflects current costs. And as a result, because cost of goods sold on the income statement reflects current costs, the net income reflects the real or the economic earnings of the firm. That is what LIFO does on the income statement under, uh, uh, in an inflationary environment. 